Start recording. Stop recording button. What's up, YouTube? You she blind perspective. <clears throat> you read it from the title, but first off, I'd like to tell you the date and time. So, Alexa, what time is it? It's 6.57 p.m. Alexa, what is the date? It's Tuesday, February 20th. Alexa, what year is it? It's 2018. Okay. You guys are in for a very special treat. I picked up an ITT, I think it's an ITT, rotary dial telephone. And picked it up for a pretty good deal. Let me set it, let me grab it real quick so I can just set you down for a minute here. Okay, I've got the phone now. Um, I'm going to give you a physical description. This is a desk phone. I'm going to attempt to show it here. Um, it's very heavy because when you turn the dial, you know, you, you don't want the phone to move around because they had, in the 60s, they had a thing called a princess phone where the base was so light um, critics called it a phone, quote, for people that had three hands, and, <laughs> well, um, um, you'd have to cram the handset in between your shoulder, hold down the base with one hand, and dial with the other hand, so you'd have to hold it in between your shoulder, and, uh, well, hold it down and unless you had three hands that's actually quite true so I'll give you a physical description it's a the base itself is rectangular very heavy it's made of it feels like a nice sturdy metal um at the top on the face you have your handset pick it up I'll pick it up here now hang it back up here Picked it up and hang it up a couple. Wait a minute. So, yeah. I'll do it once more. Pick up. Hang up. And what some people would do is there'd be these people called phone freaks. Um, Evan Dorbell was one of these. Um, I'll leave a link to his website where he would go to a payphone or home phone and record the sounds of the network because the phone network anyways because everything was all analog and they had different types of switching systems um step panel number one crossbar number five crossbar and uh, you know the only company around was the bell system and uh, well there was there was general telephone also but that was the largest independent in the 70s um so that's how it would be um this was probably, I'm not sure where this was used, I'm not sure what company this was used in, but when the Bell system was liquidated, they also had these rotary dial telephones. So anyways, back to the phone itself. You pick up the handset, and taking a look at the handset, it's quite heavy and feels quite expensive. Well, <laughs> it is. Well, not expensive but um at the top you've got your earpiece and you'd put that on your ear and I'm going to demonstrate that now and I have the phone to my ear and well uh, you can see that my phone is to the ear and at the bottom you have your mic or mouthpiece, I should say, because this is where you would speak into, and your voice would get picked up and be traveled down the phone line. And you had a little cord, you had a cord going from the handset to the base that you would 
that would be uh, that's how you would connect to the base and I'm gonna put the handset back up on the bit well actually I won't I'll describe something if you feel where the handset goes you'll feel a little button two on each side but if you do press them down they both go down this is called your hook switch and this is how back in the days you would you would um call your operator so people back in the days before they had dials Let's just pretend this phone doesn't have a dial. You'd have to go until an operator answered. So you'd go, operator, operator, and that's how it worked. That's called flashing. That's also how you could dial if your dial was broken. So one flash would be one, all the way up to nine, and zero is ten pulses. Let me see if I can. Yeah. Well, anyways, the phones had a bell on them that would ring and I can't seem to find the bell I can't hear a bell shaking when I shake the bass like I just can't hear a whole lot um, I don't know how it rings but I'm just gonna hang it up for a minute here and I'm gonna attempt to show you the back because there was a modular cord at the back that would go to your wall and the person who I bought this from wrapped it up really nicely with a nice rubber band. But I'm trying to show you the modular plug, and this will plug into a normal landline today. But that was not how things were back in the, you know, when these first were around. You have the four pronged plugs, and that's how they would connect. But getting to the dial. You have on your you have on the dial you had this metal bar, oh metal piece of metal that's called your finger stop. And then on the dial you have these holes which correspond to each number. So you have one through nine and then you have O, which is zero. So one, two and this is going counterclockwise. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, zero. So, if you wanted to call somebody, you'd pick up your handset, listen for a thing which is called the dial tone, and back in the day it would sound something like this. That's an imitation of it. But you would hear that dial tone. Well, now it sounds like, Bruh. like that's how it sounds now. But anyways, you would dial your numbers. So let's just dial the number for humanware. One, put my finger where the one is. Well, actually, I'll show you what it was like to call the operator, since it's my favorite digit. Zero. You'd put your finger to the zero. And these aren't labeled. You'd have to just count them or something. But the one that's below the finger stop is a zero. What you would do is you'd put your finger in the hole like I'm doing now. <clears throat> then I would turn the dial all the way around. You're going to hear me do that. I did that. Now you're going to release the dial. Don't force it, but just let it go back on its own. You heard that. I'm going to do that again. Turning the dial. Oops. oops. Turning the dial. Release. Now you wouldn't pause after turning the dial it, um, when you were dialing in real life. It would sound like this. Anyways, that's how you call the operator, and if you wanted to hang up without putting your handset down, you would just put put your hand on the hook, put your finger on the hook switch, and your call would be hung up. Now, if you wanted to pick it up again, you just let you release your finger. Anyways, let's just show you what it's like to dial a real phone number. I don't have this connected to a phone line, but I'll just dial you know, something like I don't know one eight hundred. I'll dial the number for human wear, 1-800-722-3393, so 1-8-0-0-7-2, I'll dial a 2 here, 2-3-3, uh, Nine, three. 
and your call will go through. And they didn't have automated systems back then, so this wouldn't work with an automated system today if you actually had a traditional line. Now, if you're planning on connecting these phones to a traditional phone line, I've heard that it doesn't work with a Comcast um, line. I'm guessing it's a VoIP service. Um, it, this probably doesn't work with VoIP services. Um, it will work with a traditional landline like an AT&T or something like that. But I'll let you hear each digit of the dial starting with the 1. So 1, 2, now 3, 4, 5, Oops, <laughs> wrong digit. Uh, you have to count these, so. Six. Okay, those are six. Seven. Eight. Nine, or also known as Niner by Mark Bernay. And my favorite digit, zero. And um, I'll let you hear the zero a couple times. I'll let you hear it again. Here it is again. Once more. Actually, twice more. Twice. Uh, once more. And that's all there is to it. Hang it up. And when your phone would ring, it would sound like ring, and you would pick it up, put it to your ear. And say, and you would talk. They had pay phones. It would be a phone just like this, but you'd have to put money in them, like um, a dime or something. But now you see them in places like a hospital, but those aren't a traditional real pay phone that's connected to a real phone line. I won't explain why, but it's called a cocot. At least that's what I think it is. Um. Like I, like I said again, um, Evan Doorbell's website describes about it. Um, click on the file that says Researching Atlanta's Most Rules Complied COCOTs. Or VoiceOver reads it out as Researching Atlanta's Most Rules Complied COCOT. And, well, there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed this little demo. Um, I'm, I'm actually going to pick it up and let you hear the zero again. Pick the handset up. And dial a zero. I'll let you hear it once more. And, well, that's it for this one. Well, alright, I'll let you hear it once more. Alright, hang it up. Alright, um, I will see you in the next one. And I'm hoping to get, um, a little device that connects, that turns it into a Bluetooth, and I'll be able to demonstrate what it's like to call from this thingy. Um, but it seems to be in pretty good shape. And you have all these weird designs on the base, so... Thank you to the person who I got it from. And thanks a lot, and... And see you around. Oops. Ah, uh, see you around. Bye. Stop recording. Button. All right, I'll do it once more. Okay. Stop recording. Button. Like, subscribe, spread the news about these videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and this thing weighs a ton. Whew. I'll just keep it here for looks and stuff like that. So. Stop recording. Button. I'll be seeing you.